Hello, I'm going to outline a quick method of making or adding thickness to a ring. Uh, so we've got our ring here now. Um, the reason why we might want to uh, add thickness to it is if we're moulding it, uh, where you've got shrinkage you can turn with, or if you uh, want to grow the model and you set the model up to be milled. Now you can run tight tolerances with a milling machine, whereas if you're growing you have grow lines and uh, to contend with it needs to be cleaned up so you might need to add a little bit more things to the metal. Um, now you can offset the surface, this ring's made up of lots of different surfaces, uh, 120 odd of them I think. Um, so to offset each of those surfaces and join them all back together takes quite a lot of computer power and it's not always successful so um, we'll try. Um, so offset surface, okay, and that gives us this. Uh, actually, more arrows than the the battle, a little big on, but um, as you can see, that's just giving surface normals. So they're all pointing the right way. So theoretically, that should offset. Uh, so we'll try it. Um, offset distance is a bit big there, actually. So should we uh, stop that? Yeah. Um, let's try again. Um, select to offset, press enter. Distance, we've got point 0.1. Uh, solid, no. Okay. This will take ages now, so I'm going to go away and have some dinner and um, I'll come back and see you in a little bit. Okay, so that took a while and it's come back saying that uh, it's added um, invalid geometry to, to the model. So that's a lot what we've got. Um, oops, let's click on that one. Uh, and you can see in there it's not quite worked properly. So, and there we've got a funny bit. Um, it's gone inside out. So that it's just not the best, you can't really use that model so what we'll do is we'll go back to our original model now if we click on this and mesh turn, turn the polish surface into a mesh which basically draws a mesh like it's had a fight with Spider-Man over the top of it um, just mesh there and um, simple controls is this one or you can have details controls. Um, this is what I sort of set mine up to something like that. Um, then to say point one. Uh, okay. It'll take a little bit depending on your setting. You've got this. Um, but, uh, that's that's giving us a mesh. Now if we put that onto a different layer, it'll stand out a bit better. And onto a purple layer. Uh, there we go. So it's drawn the mesh over the top of the nerve surfaces. Now th the mesh doesn't contain all the memory functions and all the other things that the nerve surface does. But for, for this, for this, this particular application, I think it works quite well. Uh, and then what we need to do now is select our mesh, and then select mesh. Offset mesh. Um, now that's actually made the mesh smaller. So if we say flip all, that's meshed on top of it, but it's added um, oh, 1.1. Should we change that to 1? Uh, uh, and we want solid not on both sides. We don't want that. Um, delete import mesh and keep that so we can say. And there we go. That's. Um, so if, it's, if we select this outside one and put it onto a different layer again, uh, change object like that. So we've got the green layer now, which is our bigger one. We turn it off. We've got the purple layer, and then we've got the original layer underneath that. It's just a nice way of working, speed things up. Okay, I hope that helps anyway. Cheers for that. Bye bye.